watching. Keep on watching. Keep watching. Keep watching. Keep watching. Keep watching. Keep watching. I urge you to keep watching Business Talks with Ify Melody. Welcome to Business Talks with Ify Melody. Today is another wonderful episode, and I am glad to bring this special interview with engineer, or rather, he says, Pastor engineer Mako Chukubudibwe who is an amazing real estate developer. Right now we are at the Shama Estate, one of his properties and we would go into his mind to find out exactly why he's so passionate about real estate and he doesn't just do only real estate, he's also involved in paint production and of course making you look really beautiful. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Really good to have you here. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm great this All morning. All right. Thank you. So, can you tell us a little bit about Mark Davidson, um, your company, Mark Davidson Technologies? Well, Mark Davidson Technologies Limited is, is, is a group of companies that, um, by special grace of God, we are on an assignment. We are into manufacturing, we are into agri-businesses, and we are also into construction, and then we are also into real estate development. So these are the areas at the, you know, so far we are, we have our interest in a few other, um, uh, you know, projects, but for now, we are still running these ones. That's what we do in McDevison Technologies Limited. How has this passion been? What made you get involved in real estate and even the paint production that you do? Well, a lot of things uh, play out in McDavidson. It's not about only me. It's about a team of young, um, talented team of people, professionals that are involved in the company. And above all, about God. There was a call of God upon my life to be an entrepreneur. I remember I way back in the university in 1999, God told me what he wants me to do with my life. And then that changed the trajectory of my life. So when we graduated and then, you know, I didn't need to work anywhere. I needed to start from what he has asked me to start. And we started with as little as paint, house painting, you know, because... I came from a family where all of us were trained painters. So we con I continued with that, gathered a, a, a team of young people, and we developed our first company, McDavidson Communication Technologies. We are communicating via colors. So we started that company. We are painting for individuals. We started painting for corporate bodies. We did for banks. We did for Glow. We had a lot of, uh, we did for Copen. A lot of jobs here and there. And Along that line, we started making paints. We, you know, started making paints for our projects, and then that took us to the next level of manufacturing. Then along the line, you know, through God's direction, we were attached to a real estate developer who taught us a lot of things about real estate development, and then encouraged us to go into construction. So we started going. We started construction as an arm of McDevitson, and before you knew it. <laughs> Here we are, doing a whole lot of uh, construction in different places. And then, little by little, as the passion is getting stronger, as strong, you know, more professionals are joining the team, we continue to develop. And today, we have gone into real estate development. And then, by the special grace of God, I am the vice president of Redan, the Real Estate Developers Association of Nigeria, the whole of the Southeast Zone. I'm the chairman of Redan Southeast Zone. So, this is what we do, partly driven by vision, but most importantly, following God's leading for our life. You are watching Business Talks with Ify Melody. So as a young entrepreneur also, I mean, who's, you started early as a young entrepreneur and you've been in it for a while now. What would you say to other upcoming entrepreneurs and business owners who probably want to do well in the world of business? Well, my advice to young entrepreneurs is that as long as you keep your eye single, pursuing what God has placed in your hand, you will make it. One, Make sure that there is a God factor in what you're doing. Number two, have a vision of where you're going. 
Don't get distracted. Most times it's not always rosy at the beginning. But with the grace of God upon your life, you'll get to the top. And then I should also tell our young people, don't be in a hurry. I had uh, been into so many businesses and so many, some, some of them failed. In fact, there was a, 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 a business I started for seven years. I didn't make a dime in that business. It was on, in the eighth year that we were able to break even. And today, it's, 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 it's working for us. So for young people, be patient, be diligent, and most importantly, be focused. Pursue what God has placed in your hand. And then the sky is your limit. You see, it doesn't matter the economy of where you, the economy of wherever you are. In fact, where there are more problems, there are there are there are, there are more businesses, more opportunities, more opportunities. So for young people, keep pushing. You will make it. Everybody that set up on this assignment, with the grace of God behind you, forget it. You will make it. So I encourage people. Whatever God puts in your heart to do. Do it. And most importantly, do it fast. All Thank right. you. All right. Thank you. One final question before we leave. You are a member of a SIMA. Can okay. you share a little bit of your experiences as a member of SIMA? I am talking about the Enugu Chamber of Commerce, Industry, Mines, and Agriculture. Tell us a little bit about it. Wow. Uh, a SIMA is a very interesting place. Uh, if you look at it, you said Enugu State chamber of commerce it's a chamber of commerce that is is a gathering of people who are in commerce it's a gathering of business people i joined the sima you know the, our company joined the sima quite young in fact it was almost on the first year of our operations we joined the sima and that joining has really you know, changed a few things about our operations. We were able to meet captains of industry. I remember the first time I had, I, I went for a SIMA program after we joined. We met the names that we were hearing in town. Oh, this is the owner of this. This is the CEO of this. This is the GMD of this. Wow. I, I saw them and I, I was like, these are, these are human beings. <laughs> they have one head and two hands. And I felt like, wow, if all these men seated here, to run such common grenades. Why not? We can. And be because of that, we were encouraged. We got closer to so many of them. We saw what made them who they were. We saw how they ran their businesses. And we started putting them, you know, little by little in our own. And God has been helping us. Wow. Thank you. We are here at El Shama Estate. Can you please tell us what's going on here? This is uh, El Shama Estate. Is um, we have a lead developer who is uh, Copen, and then part of the estate is being developed by Magnificent Technologies Limited. And these areas are places where we are building uh, bungalows. And we, some of people, we are servicing the entire population. Some people, we are giving mortgages for them, and others are buying, you know, payment by installment. And then some are actually buying outright. And then these are some of the things we do in real estate development. In the other area, we have other places where we are building um, duplexes, and all of them are for sale. So we are purely here in our sites. And, you know, you, you caught me right on ground doing what we like doing. What you're passionate about, <laughs> yes. what you love doing. <laughs> yes, thank you. All right. Thank you so much, Pastor Engineer Mako Chuku Udewe for giving us your time. It's been a very wonderful one with you. And we hope to have you again on the show, Business Talks with Ify Melody. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Keep on watching, keep watching, keep watching, keep watching, keep watching, keep watching. I urge you to keep watching business talks with Ify Melody.